he needed and and we actually put a deal together that worked for all of us so um is, is that something that you're you're looking for just you know so we can put our heads together and, and do something that's going to work for all parties involved I just want to get my home sold. I've tried with three different realtors already. I've been doing this since 2016. Um, and the house either they bring me unqualified people, it falls out, or I hear crickets. And so I'm asking my question. I'm a businessman, too. I'm not trying to bust you, sir. Why should I work with you? Well, Claude, I understand you got a lot of options. And, and if you want to work with the best, Claude, and you want to get this house sold, uh, let's let's put our heads but together. Those other uh, next. Yeah. Do you want to get this done within the next thirty days, like yeah. you said, Claude? Yeah, but you know, I'm no offense, sir. They said the exact same thing you just said. I'm the best. I'm with Century Twenty One. We'll do this. We'll do that. They all said the same thing, just like you're saying. Well, Claude, all I can do is tell you that from my experience, what what I have going on, and um, being able to close deals and being able to, I'm a, I'm a man of my word, and and I. I Kind of get offended when, when, uh, when, uh, okay. Well, listen, send me your card. I'll think about it. Uh, I appreciate your time. Goodbye. I, I lost. Yeah. What are we, what I was trying, social proof. social proof. Okay. Tell me your story. Tell me about, you know, John, yeah. Do you know John and Mary down the street? Do you know John and Mary over in the next town? John and Mary. Yeah, the Smith family, nice folks. Maybe they go, uh, what church you go to, sir? Uh, Smith Smith Chapel. Oh, they, they probably go, they, they go to the Smith Chapel too. In fact, it's named after their great-grandfather. Isn't that interesting? Um, you know, um, they said the same thing to me. We got their home in escrow in two weeks. You want me to tell you the truth or lie to you, sir? Uh, of course I want you to tell me the truth. The truth is, I did a little homework on your property, and it's way overpriced. Plus, for what you're asking, and you got a dirty carpet here. I'm not trying to offend you. We need to get this carpet cleaned. We need to get a cleaning lady in here. We need to get a couple kids for five, ten bucks an hour to sweep up the uh, driveway and the and mow the lawn. And let's make this place picture pro perfect. I'll get it sold. I can't get your asking price though. But if you're move, if you've got to move in the middle of July. Do you want to fly back and forth and worry about this property, or do you want to just get it sold and get some coin in your pocket? Uh, of course, I want to get it sold. We got to clean it up. We got to adjust the price. I'll get it sold in thirty days or less. You can go to Texas. You can go to Texas with a nice big fat check in your hand and get that mortgage off your credit rating. And what what happens? I mean, I was like I, like I told you earlier. I was told that before, and, and here I am. So what what? guarantees do you give good question as as property, okay. So. okay what kind of guarantee would you like sir that my property gets sold in the next 30 days okay you want me to lie to you or bullshit you i can't nobody can guarantee that so let's talk like adults here did any of the let me ask you this question sir did any of those people you do any social media marketing live streaming youtube videos facebook positions i'm i'm not 100 percent sure what they did they, they did one thing did sell my property they didn't and you're a secret. You know what's that? You got a nice property here in a beautiful neighborhood, sir. We need a little TLC on it. Problem is, you're a secret. There's plenty of homes sold in this jurisdiction. I can show you the stats. We're in the middle of the, one of the best markets ever. The only property that didn't sold is yours. You know why? You're a secret. Nobody knew about your home. Well, they put it on the MLS. I'm sure everybody yeah. looks at the MLS. Yeah, everybody. Not, not the people who bought. Not the people who bought the home two blocks away for full price, or the other property that sold in the nine one nine one zero area. Nobody knew about your property because the MLS by itself is not enough, sir. We're in a war. When you go, millions of people every day go on this device. Do they look at the MLS? No, it's proprietary. They will. They will go on this and they say, "I need a home in Raleigh, Durham area." They're going to type in Raleigh Durham. Are they going to find your home, see a video, see pictures on Instagram, see videos on YouTube, see a Facebook page with a, about the best restaurants around your home and the park and the bike riding trails? Did anyone do any of that? Answer, no. I will do that. So you got to make a decision today, sir. Do you want to move 2,000 miles away and worry about a home, or do you want to work with the best realtor in Raleigh? Of, of course I want to work with the best. I just am tired of all the... I'm, you know, the 
chest bumping and chest pounding and I'm going to do this and do that. And like I told you, this is, this is the, you know, I've been through four people already and, and yeah. none of them have delivered what they said. You they might, you might be go, you might go through five. The thing is, you got to feel that I'm part, I'm on, I only make money, sir, if I sell your house and I want to sell your house. Okay. And I think you're in a great, I know this, I know this area. I've sold houses in this area already. I'm amazed. I'm just frankly astonished that it hasn't sold already. And we're in the summer, we're going into summer here. This house should have been in escrow already. This is easy, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way I was thinking. But of course, here we are, four realtors, you know, four realtors in and. It's still sitting. Well, do you know who you're talking? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you remember my name? Uh, Claude, I believe it was. You're, you're right, sir. Do you know who's the best realtor in this county? Uh, let me guess, Claude. That's right, sir. See that car outside? That's a brand new Lexus. You only get a car like that if you if you're making money and selling things. Do you want me to help you, or you can fire me right now, sir? I just don't have the time to waste. I'm a busy realtor. I make a lot of money, and I make people happy. Do you want me to make you happy? Well, let me let me think about. You're it not now. allowed to. to you know, no, I don't work that. I don't work that way, sir. You're not allowed to think about it. Do you know why? Why is that? Because your problem, your problem is today. July fifteenth is when you have to move, right? Correct. I had a friend once. He moved away from his house to California. And everything, oh, and windows got broken. Some people tried to move in there and 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 uh, and and break into the house and live in there. And then he had he had to fly back and forth constantly to deal with tenants and toilets. Is that what you really want when you move thirty? Gosh, you know, forty five days from now, forty days from now, you're going to be in Texas. Do you want to deal with that bullshit, sir? No, no, that's that's like I said. That's why we wanted to sell. You it. only have one solution, sir. I'm throwing your life. Pre- you're in the pool, you're drowning, and I'm throwing you a life preserver. Why won't you take it? I just, I just, you know, like all I've been through, Claude, I just want to think about it for You're not allowed to think. So I told you. Back. I told you you're not allowed to think about it. So I'll tell you what, sir, it sounds like it's over. It sounds like you don't want to work with the best realtor who's going to get. I'll tell you what I'll do, sir. I'll leave this open until 5 o'clock today. If I don't hear from you, we're never working together. If I hear from you today... You've made the best decision of your life because your house is going to get sold. My offer expires at 5 o'clock today. If I don't hear from you, please don't call me Tuesday or Wednesday or ever. I wish you would. Okay, so are we on the same page, sir? Sure, that's fair enough. Can I say something before I go? What's that? Don't go through life having regrets. Don't want to go through life when this house is empty, you're losing money, and you're flying back and forth thinking, gee, well, I had the chance to work with Claude Diamond. I didn't take it. Don't have regrets in life, sir. Fair enough. Anything else before I anything else before I go, sir? No, Claude. Just uh, like I said, let me let me let me mull it over. And, no, you're not allowed uh, to I'm mull it over to either, sir. Phone. Sir, you're not allowed. You can just say, Claude, you're fired. Go, please say that right now. No, I, I, like I said, if, I'll if say I, it. If I, let me think about it. No, you're I'm not allowed to think Claude. about it. You can't think about it. You can only make a decision. That's going to make, I'm trying to save your life and you're thinking about it. Tell you what, yeah. let me, I'll tell you what, I'll make the decision. Let's just say it's over. I wish you and your family very well on your move to, uh, to Texas. And I hope you have a good, safe trip and I hope everything works out for you, but we're done. Have a good day. Now, a minute ago, you just said, call you back before five o'clock. Now don't call you at all. Well, you're not going to, what you're well, no. what, I, I got, do you want me to tell you the truth or lie to you, sir? Uh, Let's go for the truth. Truth is, when people tell me they think about it, they're going to mull it over. I never hear from them again. Never. Why is this going to be any different? Well, like I said, let me. Let me I need to think about it now. I'll, I'll call you. It's back. over, sir. You're fired. Now that it's over, what are you going to do? Well, you're moving in forty days or less. Are you? Is someone? Do you have someone, a neighbor or a friend who can watch your home while you're making those payments every month? I have someone that could look after it. Okay, that's good. And your mortgage is free and clear, right? You don't have any payments or taxes, homeowner fees, alarm settings, or utilities. You don't have any bills per month, do you? Of course, yes. Well, you're gonna keep you're gonna keep paying those things. Can you imagine if you're paying those bills for another year or two? That that's what happened to a friend of mine. That's what's gonna happen to you, unless you make an adult decision right now. 
Yeah, like I said, I just need to think think it over. And you said no. No, so we're done. Just, we're we're, we're, we're done. done. It's over. Yeah, I just have to call the next best realtor then. There is no next best realtor. There, they, you've had three already, or maybe yeah, four. Yeah, no, said the same thing you're saying as far as being. No, they best, didn't so. say the same thing, sir. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to correct you or be obstinate, but none of them did any. I did some homework. Your property was overpriced. It doesn't show well, and it's you did no social media marketing. Do you own an iPhone, sir? Uh, Android. An Android. Did, did nobody did any marketing? There's no pictures on Pinterest or Instagram on your home or Snapchat. There's no video of your home showing how nice it is. You've got that pool table over in the corner, beautiful uh, property here, and right near the best schools. Nobody did a video on your property. There's no dedicated Facebook page, sir. It, it stands to reason if you don't do these things in, 19, in 2017, no one's going to know about your home. It's over. You're not going to sell it until you understand it's not 1966 anymore. Sir, I got to go. I apologize, sir. I've got to go. My offer stands till five o'clock, but I know I won't hear from you, but you have a good day. Goodbye. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Now, that was a good, damn good, very long, but a damn good role play. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of, I mean, it's realistic. Now, some of your, yeah, because you, you have that, and, you know, of course, you're, you're the master at it, so some of the things that I go through, I just kind of... Throw it out there to you and see how you handle it. And now I can take that. And the only there's only what the salesman. I'm the only guy who says this. The salesman Lorenzo comes first. The Lorenzo right. the sales. If you let these people manipulate you, bullshit you, I'll think about it. I'll call you later. I'll mull it over. You can't do that all day because you'll feel like shit. Yeah. I hope the ladies aren't in the room. I apologize. Oh, uh -huh. okay. No, you're okay. You're but gonna yeah. feel. You're gonna feel like garbage. You, you know, yeah. if you, if you, who, you know what's my biggest problem as a trainer? Do you know what that is? What's that? I get people call, telling me, Claude, I know I'm supposed to talk to five people a day. Um, uh, my grandma was sick. I had to change the oil in the car. The bathrooms need cleaning. We were having company over. Right. And I get that. And I said, what's the real reason you didn't make those calls? Well, you know, I get busy, Claude. Then I finally get to the truth. Every now and then I get to the truth. And they say, Claude, I'm scared. And I'm scared because people are going to reject me, lie to me, manipulate me, not respect me. Here I am. I'm a fire chief. I'm a fire captain in the community. I went to school. I worked hard. I command men. I'm a leader. And then I get on this phone and people treat me like dirt. How yeah. can I how can I do that every day? It, now, it, now I get it, to it can wear on you. It can wear, yeah. You got to take my attitude. Okay. C C uh C S D S. Um, Claude shit that? Claude shit doesn't stink. <laughs> then there's the other then there's the other yeah. rule. Uh I D G A S L. I don't I don't know. I don't give a shit land. Okay, I was I was if you were a doc, if, if you were if you were my lawyer, let's do another one. You're my lawyer, and I got a letter here from the IRS, and they're investigating me, and um, you are the best lawyer. You know the IRS. You know the people there. You know this law on this case. You know that if I don't do it the right way, I'm going to get fined $100,000, and I may go to jail for 6 to 12 months. And you know you can protect me, and you know you can get rid of this. And then... Okay, you know this. You are the best lawyer on this case. You wrote the book, The Law on This. Right. And, and I come to you. Roll, we're role playing now. Say, gee, um, Attorney Hartwell, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I've gone to a couple attorneys. I'm, I'm looking for someone who can help me with this IRS thing. Claude, well, let me ask you this: Why didn't you just go ahead and go with one of them? Why, why are we speaking? Well, I'm just looking around. Uh, you know, one guy he wanted. He wanted a five thousand. The other guy wanted ten thousand, and uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of shopping around a little. And someone gave me your name. They said you, you wrote the book on some of this stuff, and um, I just uh, thought I'd reach out and talk to you and see if there was something there for both of us. Claude, Claude, let me ask you this: Do, do you put a price on your freedom? What do you mean? Well, Claude. Is is real simple, Claude. Uh, with this with this case, 
you know, you can either go ahead and get this done, taken care of right, or you can put yourself at risk of not only having a fine more than what you're paying as far as attorney fees, but you putting you could be uh, subject to going to uh, prison for up to 12 months if this is not... Oh, uh, yeah, prison. I hear that all the time. You don't really think I'm going to go to prison over this, do you? Well, Claude, they, that's the law, Claude, and there's uh, there's some people that's been in prison that said the same thing that you're saying now. So, uh, Claude, do you, let me ask you this. I'm a, I'm a busy man, and I, I know, I know you have, you're have you busy, too. Claude, do you, do you want to get this situation fixed, or do you want to go ahead and get this done right, or do you want to just go ahead and uh, mess with uh, some lawyer that doesn't have your best interest at heart? Well, I'm... Um, um, you know, one guy wanted 5000 and the other guy wanted uh, ten thousand. Um, uh, you know, and um, how much do you how much do you charge, Claude? My my fee is uh, um, my fee is twenty five thousand, Claude. What? Yeah, I, I know it, Claude. That's that's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of money. I can get the other guy for five thousand. That's crazy, man. I'm not gonna pay twenty five thousand. Claude, do you, do you want the best and get this situation taken care of, or do you want to uh, chance it and and pay that five thousand and still may end up in trouble? What well, that is your choice. Okay, off the role play. This is this goes to the million dollar rule. People, okay. what's the million dollar rule? People want to do business with. People they like and trust. That no, that's the that's a good rule. That's a psychological persuasion rule. People do biz. People make immediate business decisions okay. when they EQ. The emotional quotient Most. is right okay. up here. What's the problem with this guy? Before we go back into it, what's the problem with him? Uh, money. Well, he's, he's claiming a, money. The problem is, is the problem is he he's an ass. Years. He's an asshole. Yeah, and he, he doesn't know he's an seat. asshole. Right. Okay. Also, he doesn't know he's going to go to jail. Right. He also doesn't know that, does he have a business and a family? you got to start, you've got to be, find a need, create a need, exacerbate a need. You need to throw more EQ into it. Sir, I don't care if you don't want to work with me, but do you want me to tell you the truth? Number one, you could, you could go to jail for six months to three years. I'll tell you right now. Number two, if you get away with fifty thousand dollars, you're getting away cheap. This could go with fines and penalties, maybe up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Number three, do you have a business, sir? What do you do for a living? Do you have a family? Go and you got to be creative. Okay. You got it. You're the best there is, man. You're not going to charge five and ten thousand dollars. You're keeping this guy out of jail. Is that worth twenty five thousand? Exactly. You're going to save his family. You're going to save his business. You're going to save him uh, maybe a quarter million dollars in fines. Do you think that's worth 25000 Right. Oh, yeah. Now, sell that. Close me. Claude, that, that, was, a, that was a good question about uh, the – I know you can you, – you, that's a lot of money as far as the 25000 Claude. Claude, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, with, with – uh, okay. All right. It's okay. Take a Claude. breath. Hey, all right, we're chill. It's, I, oh, see, I raise the emotion. I get emotional teaching this sometimes. You gotta, you gotta understand though. What's gonna make me go from being an asshole to going? Oh, I'm so sorry. Apologizing to you, saying, uh, Attorney Lorenzo, thank you, man. You know, no one's talked to me like that. No one really made me realize. You're right. I could lose my business. I got a great business. My grandfather started. My wife is scared to death. Uh, I, I could go to jail for you, like you said, maybe three. Oh, I gotta do so. You're right. Boom. You gotta get me. I'm a I'm a I'm an arrogant five or a six right now. I am just a dumb shit who doesn't realize what's what could happen to me. You gotta take me up to an eleven. Right. Or fire my ass because you have so much self esteem and, and you are so busy and you are so successful. You've got to get that over to me and say, Hey look, it's okay if we don't work together. I'm a busy guy. I keep people out of jail, I save them money. If you don't want to work with the, I wrote the book on this area of law. I deal right. with this situation. If you want to go to some guy who might end, end up, do you want to go to jail, sir? Do you want to pay fines? Do you want to lose your business? Do you want to leave your wife and kids for six months to twelve uh, to three years? Go ahead. Right. But don't call me okay. back. But don't call me back on Tuesday morning because I'm not going to go through this again. Okay. Boom.
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what you're saying and then incorporate it in at the same, same time. When, when a house is on fire and you pull up on the truck, do people come out to you and say, gee, Lorenzo, how much is this going to cost? Oh, no. No, sir, your house is burning right now. Do you want me to, do you want us to put it out? Well, gee whiz, is this going to be, am I going to get a ticket or fine or something? Sir, your house is burning. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good, good way to look at it. It puts it in perspective. I'm good on Monday mornings. <laughs> there you go. Okay, there you go. I want you to close me. You've got to close me on this. You're my, you're the attorney. You're the third guy I've seen. I'm an arrogant douchebag, and you've got to, you've got to straighten me out. Okay, Claude. Yeah, I, I know the twenty-five thousand may, may be a lot of money for Claude. Let me, let me ask you a question here. Let me ask you a couple. Before of questions, I Claude. go, before I go. Oh, Claude. But before I go, let me ask you a couple of questions, Claude. Claude, are you, are you prepared if this is not done right to spend maybe six to three years in jail? You really think? I mean, I haven't heard that before. The other attorney said maybe six months or something like that. And do you really, I mean, I haven't heard that before. Well, Claude, even six months. I know, do you, do you have a business, Claude? Or you have a, do you have a job that you're working that, you know, you could possibly be out of out of work for six months? Or well, we, we have that, uh, I, I didn't mention, um, I, I own that Ace Hardware, that really big store down on Main Street. Um, I work there eight days a week, man. That's my bit. You know, my grandfather started that Ace Hardware store, and and now I, I actually, I, and we're opening up another store in August, a second store. Wow, Claude. And how how do you think that it'll affect you if you were going away at least, you know, six months to three years? Would that would that have some type of impact on your business? I you, know. You know, I I got a I got a dipshit brother in law running the one store. He, man, he can he. He, he's he's the biggest dumb I'll be out of business yeah and is is that can you put a dollar amount on that Claude is is it is it worth uh, investing in yourself to get this taken care of working with the best to go ahead and get this rectified so you can continue with your business continue with your life Claude do you have any have a wife and kids or any any family that's oh yeah 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 my, my wife's uh, she's pregnant in fact um, honey you're pregnant um <laughs> um, and she's due around, uh, I think September, uh, no, but October 1st, she's due. We're going to get up. We've got three kids already. We've got one more coming. Claude, let me ask you this, Claude. And I'm, I'm going to be right before I go, Claude, you know, I, I'm a busy person. I need to get off and go. But Claude, let me ask you this. When your child is born and they look up and they don't see your face, Claude, tell me, Claude, how, how would that make you feel? Because I know me personally, that would just kill me. To know that my child was born and uh, I wasn't, and you know, I wasn't there. You know, we're we have three little boys. I love them dearly. This is going to be a girl, and man, I've always wanted a little girl. Uh, you know, little girls. You have daughters. I have two daughters. Yeah, Claude, I have. So. A, oh man, you know, daughters. Everybody tells me daughters are special. Claude, uh, that is that is the truth. And as the man for your chip for your daughter, when she is born and she looks up and see your face. You know that's that's a special moment that no one can take away, Claude, and oh. and I, I would hate for you to miss that just because uh, you 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 let someone handle this and the, and they didn't didn't handle it right, Claude. Um, now, was that is that worth it, Claude, to to you know fight over you know a cheap lawyer to that may not fix the situation versus someone who you know the twenty five thousand that you're going to invest to get this done right, Claude. Because Claude, I am the best. I have done this multiple times, and I have, I, I basically wrote the book on it, Claude. So we're, I'll go ahead and get this done for you. Versus you, you know, this is nothing to play around with. Your family is worth it, and your business is worth it to get it done right. Wouldn't you agree, Claude? Gosh, you know, I, until this point, I didn't even think about the baby and and everything, and and um, I'm um. Can can we work out something with the money? Um, can I give you half now and spread the other half over two, three months or something like that? I'm not a rich man. Wow, Claude. Uh, well, I, norm I normally take that up front, Claude. Uh, you were saying, uh, oh man. I can give you fifteen. Ooh. I can give you fifteen today. Can I just pay the other ten thousand, like uh, twenty five hundred a month for four months? Wow, Claude. Claude, if if I could do that, could you pay the the fifteen down today? Yeah, absolutely. I, man, you'd be doing me a favor. I just can't do twenty five in one shot. And I, 
you know, no one's spoken to me the way you have or brought up the points about my family and the baby and and, and uh, I want I want you to be my attorney. Um yes, I can give you 15 today. I can give it to you right now. Do you want a credit card or or, or should I drop off a check or what do you want me to do? Claude, we can uh I appreciate your time today. That's, uh, we can. That's what off the role play. I was listening for the stroke. I appreciate you. You got it. I just did a. I just made a decision. Did you see me go over the line? Right. You got me emotional when you found my trigger. My psychological trigger was what the baby, my wife, the family. You right. couldn't. You couldn't get me because jail didn't seem to affect me until it related to the baby and losing the business with my dopey uh, brother-in-law, whatever. It didn't work either. You found the, the psychological trigger. Then you got me to commit. We solved the money problem. Money, money's always. I didn't argue about the price anymore. I just needed to work out financing. You solved that too. And then I said, I'll give you the fifteen, and uh, you're the best lawyer. I want to work with you. This is the this is the part a lot of people screw up on. This is when you nurture me. You thank you okay. stroke and you know what? I am so you do the rest. Go ahead. I'll give you the 15. I think I've made a good you know, I feel a little bit relieved um um, um Mr. Hartwell. Um uh until this moment I didn't know I was going to hire you, but you, no one spoke to me like you have. You you've raised some really good points here. I want to be around when my wife has that baby and um, I don't want to lose my business, and I sure as hell don't want to go to jail. Thank you, sir. I'll just we'll work out the money. I'll give you fifteen today and four payments of twenty five hundred. I appreciate you being so flexible, Claude. I, I appreciate you giving me a call. I appreciate your time, Claude. And and when we when we talk about time, you know, time is one of the things you, that that you can't get back with your children. And every moment that you spend with your daughter, especially, is going to be moments that you you cherish forever. So. I appreciate that, and uh, you definitely, you know, being in being in jail and being away from your family and your business being affected and your family life being affected. Um, I've seen so many times where uh, that it just went in the wrong direction. But uh, so, it, did you uh, did you have a what's that credit card number that you wanted to go ahead and put the? Um, one two three, boom boom boom. Okay. The stroking and the nurturing are so important in the right. end, sir. I really appreciate your – and you, you did good, but you could have been a little bit better. Sir, I and I wanted you to talk about the money saving the business. That's why I was holding up the money here. Oh, okay. Uh, not okay. getting uh, – and that was ambiguous on my part. Right. That was my bad because you didn't know where, how I meant it. Um, what, I, what I really meant was that – you know, you're going to save your business. You're going to be able to open up the other business. You're going to keep your income to take care of your family. And I so appreciate your trust in me, sir. You know, I know we just met. We just started talking. And, um, you know, we came from zero uh, to uh, uh, to 10 on the Claude barometer here. Um, and I so appreciate your trust. And I'm going to fight like hell. I'm, I know I'm going to do some uh, look over your letter. We're going to do some homework together. I'd like to set up an office meeting. I'm going to get to work on this thing, and I'm going to put all my energy, knowledge, my contacts, and see if we can mitigate this. Are we on the same page, sir? We are, Claude. I have to go. All right, Claude. I appreciate it. Good role play. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Very helpful. Can I, can I use this role play on YouTube, or you'd rather not? That's, that's fine. I'll, I'll give you credit for it because this was brilliant. This was one of the best you've ever done. All right. I appreciate it, Claude. Thanks for all your help. Take care. All right. We'll see you.